Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I said I wasn't going to make any orders anytime soon but Cult Beauty got me. Um, some of you who might already buy from Cult Beauty would have got an email the other day where you get a free self-care package worth £235 when you spend £150 and me and my bestie were texting we're like shall we do it shall we do it obviously let's do it so I got my package within two days and I am going to unbox this with you and it's just makeup I'm so excited <laughs> Get into the package. I need a knife for this. Okay. Also, um, what I want to say is that I look like I'm spending a lot of money on beauty products at the moment, which I am, uh, but I'm saving quite a lot of money where I'm obviously not eating out and all of that, but also travel for work costs me usually over £200 a month so kind of using that money just to enjoy myself and buy things that I always wanted to buy and just I guess um, use my money a bit wisely but enjoy it at the same time so just wanted to clear some bits up that I'm not putting myself in debt okay right let's get into it paper not paper Okay, so first off, I've got, I've got a lot of NARS. Okay, first off, I've got, what's this? Aha, okay, I'm really excited to use this. This is the Kevin Aquan, if I'm saying that right, Kevin uh, Aquan uh, Foundation Balm. And I got this in light FBO3. God, it was quite tricky to try and find my shade. Just a hint of advice, if you're ever unsure about shades, go to the actual seller's website and there's usually like a shade guide and you can pop a drop down and pop in your current foundation shade. I use so many foundations that I did different types. Say for example, L'Oreal True Match in shade, Golden Almond, and then it gives you a near match. My actual near match was out of stock, but I, was, I wanted this. Oh, this is cute. Okay, it comes with... A little brush so I mean it's quite okay might use that so this foundation balm oh, it's tiny oh, it's quite expensive it's this small I'm size of my cheek um okay I hope this is bloody good um okay so this I don't know why do I sniff things if you've watched any of my other videos I sniff everything I don't know why I'm sniffing it. Okay, so this foundation balm is, um, it's a hard balm and, oh, it's quite creamy. And I saw someone use this um, in a review online and she had some scarring. And I spoke about this before that I have got some scarring on my skin. And her scarring just went away like that. And I was like, wow, it's like, like concealer, but not. Um, I have read mixed reviews though, so some reviews that I've read, um, some reviews that I've read, people are saying it's quite drying on the skin and this is a concern that I have when it comes to foundations, my skin is dehydrated and often um, kind of heavy foundations just don't sit well. It is all in the prep, um, but there are some foundations that are just no for me, so I'm hoping that this will be great. If not, um, I will try it on perhaps um, just someone else, maybe in, in a trial and just see, but I have heard fantastic things about this. Uh, I don't know much about Kevin Aquan, who I'm probably saying that all wrong, all wrong but his makeup, but um, uh, a friend did leave a note on one of my other videos to say that eyelash colours are great as well. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to giving this a go. Um, to get some flawless skin. Actually, on the subject of kind of foundations, I've been looking for a tinted moisturiser. So I did go for the NARS Tinted Moisturiser. This is a Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser with SPF 30. I wanted something with SPF in. And I got this in shade... Grion, Grionland. Light 3 Grion, Grionland. Um, so, this tinted moisturizer I already have 
um, two other shades of this that are all kinds of wrong colour. They're just too dark, so I mix them with um, my lighter foundation. Uh, but I love it. I love it. It's It gives that glow. I was going to go for the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser, but I don't know anyone that has. So I kind of thought I'm better to just get the right shade. We It might not be the right shade, but a lighter shade in this and give it um, a go. And hopefully it's a match. I really rate this. So this is kind of a rebuy. This is my third one. Just that I kept getting the wrong colours. But it is really really lovely um please be the right shade i think it might be quite light um why well, it's, it's just so easy to blend so this uh, i was just about to sniff my fingers then on oh, my hands i mean okay so yeah it's a really really lovely kind of glowy Tinted moisturiser, it's got SPF 30 in, perfect, I wanted something, um, if you've seen my Colt Beauty haul, which I will link below, I did buy the Pixi Glow Tonic, no, the Pixi um, SPF spray for topping me up over any foundation that might not have SPF, and for me, mm -mm, it doesn't work, it's, it's like a sun cream, you spray it, so I needed something that was a bit more bit more good for me on day to day. I'm really excited for that because I think I've got the right shade finally. So time will tell when I get it on. And I've got another NARS. So this is a liquid blush. I What did I get? I didn't get Orgasm, shade Orgasm. I got the shade Torrid, which I did wonder if it was for darker skin tones because um, you've got, I think Orgasm is a tone it is a pink tone but I wanted more coral um so I'm hoping that this oh look at that oh, I'm so stunning so excited to use this so I really like a liquid blush actually I lie I've never used a liquid blush I like a cream blush uh and all the blushes I was tempted to go with the Charlotte Tilbury blusher but I wanted a cream or a liquid so it looks like a nail varnish remover let's pop a bit of that on my skin and you'll see that should I put it on my face no I'm not gonna put it on my face not now okay oh I don't know if you can see probably not actually okay I'm really excited to use that but I am more for a coral than a pinky, um, probably because I've got dark hair, but um, I luckily I suit both, but as it's coming to the summer, I'm much more for a coral. So that is the NARS, um, what is it? What is it? Um, liquid blush. Please about that one. Okay, what have I gone for next? Uh -huh. Okay. So currently on my lips I have Pillow Talk and I have a, um, a lip liner that is a Kiko one and it's not quite the best match, it's okay, but I wanted to buy their lip cheat and I did get this to reshape and resize lip liner, um, so I got the matching one of Pillow Talk, Let's have a look. Um, obviously I've heard great things about this and I've heard that Pillow Talk lip liner is kind of like you can easily use this as a lip liner and then put a lip balm on so it kind of lines your lips. I do quite like having a lip liner because I just feel like the edges of my lips like lose lose colour in a sense. They kind of get lost in my face. So yeah, this is like a nice uh, crayon. My hands are covered now. Let's have a look. Okay, it's quite velvety. Lovely. I really rate their Pillow Talk lipstick. It doesn't stay on forever for me, but that's probably just my my lips. Um, but I really like it, and it's often my go-to, so it made sense to get their lip cheek. Um, it's not exciting. What else have I got? Okay, I've got another NARS product. Um... And this is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. Anyone who knows me knows I 
bang on about this concealer. This I got in shade Creme Brulee. So I've used Custard, which is lovely. Some like yellow kind of undertones. I've used Light, which I've got on today, which kind of brightens my eyes a bit more. But I wanted to try something of the in-between because shade Light 2, I think I use, um, is maybe perhaps now I'm getting a little bit of the tan coming into the summer is a little bit too light so yeah and I honestly really really love these I sometimes use this when I go on holiday um and just when maybe perhaps I want a lighter makeup I just use that as my foundation so I use it under my eyes and then just bring it down my face it is an incredible concealer I wouldn't say it's got the highest coverage so if you have a lot of blemishes and things like that, there may be stronger concealers out there. However, this is great for brightening your under eyes. I love it. It's so easy to use. I am uh, over the age of 30, of 31, but it means that I can't really put too much heavy concealer under my eyes because it starts to really cake. Um, and when I discovered this, I thought, gone gone on those other concealers and this i just i love i love 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 so that's a repurchase love it and last of all bloody last of all okay last of all um i oh i'm so glad i worried that i didn't put this in my basket i had i think about 300 pounds worth of stuff in my basket and i thought no 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 that's silly start taking some bits out um but I'm so glad I did leave this in. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution, which I think this is a matte revolution as well. Um, and I just want to point out, matte lipsticks usually don't go well with me, but this is a nourishing matte lipstick, definitely. I got this in shade. What shade did I get this? Sexy Sienna. So again, this is kind of along the lines of coral, I hope. I hope, hope, hope. Um... Oh, oh, I'm, look at that. Oh, really excited about that. Okay, so it's gorgeous kind of corally pink. I really want to put it on my lips now. I can't, I've got this on. So let's have a look. Oh, it's quite, maybe a little bit more. So, oh, that along with that, I think will look gorgeous together. And a bit of bronzer or oh, a bit of highlighter as well. So yeah, dead pleased about that. I really like her lipsticks. I really do. I love MAC. I do love MAC. But I do find these are a little bit more moisturising. Probably because I'm choosing the wrong one at MAC to be honest. But um, yeah, I really, really like her lipstick. Well, I say her lipsticks. I've only tried one. So that's my second one. So I'm really excited. I probably should, on reflection, have bought the lip liner to go with it. But... A lot of the time when I use lipsticks, I actually use a um, a lip, what's it called? A lip brush. <laughs> I use a lip brush and I put it on rather than putting it directly on my lips. Just means that I can control the colour a little bit more. If I want like a bold, bold colour, like today I put it directly on. But a lot of the time with like reds especially um, and like corals, I tend to use a lip brush just because I feel like it's a lot more of a subtle way so it kind of ends up being like a balm um so that's a that's a nice tip you can always try if you feel like red is too harsh on you or you always feel like you get it on your teeth I know I'm a classic for that but when I use a lip brush it tends to be um less a chance of that so if you do find that a lot of colors are maybe a bit too bold for you um use a lip brush so yeah I'll probably use a lip brush for that those are my products now I have of course got so much makeup on my hands I'm worried to actually ruin this how nice is that bag that's like a nice little bag to take on holiday big enough for all my products um okay so this is of course the self-care kit that I got free and I'm so excited because this is a lot of this is skincare um and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a part two of this video. I'm so sorry, but this video is already becoming quite long. So I am going to un unpackage this with you in another video. Uh, so if you'd like to see what was in the self-care 
um, cult beauty self care um, goodie bag because I've not seen it yet. Um, then my next video will be up in a couple of days, and um, and hopefully if you hit subscribe, you'll know that that it's live. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I don't feel like there's actually that many products, but I'm really like excited to use those. I want to take my makeup off and redo it again, uh, but I won't. Um, so thank you for watching. Hit like if you liked this. If you've got any questions about trying to select colours, then let me know. I can try and help you. Um, I think hopefully I've nailed it with the colours. But um, yeah, and I'll see you in my next video where I'm unboxing this. Bye-bye. Thank you.